Okay, hi. I am going to do this video before I go to bed because I have like a bunch of Ask Diva questions and I promised to do these. So I'm going to do them before I go to bed. So this one is um, for Doretha and I believe um, uh, Latoya Stith. You guys wanted to know um, how do you carry yarn or how do you um, basically I do not carry yarn no more than five stitches. So I think her question to me is how can you carry the yarn those four to three maybe two or even one stitch and not see the line so we have to use our discretion on when we're going to carry we don't always want to carry because you you want your stuff to look quality and professional so you don't want to always carry the yarn so I try not to when I have to and and I don't have to but sometimes you just don't want to keep adding a new color and when it's only like one or two maybe even three stitches away so again I do the pop lock and drop method that method helps me maybe it may not help you but what I can do is explain to you a little bit more about when to carry and when not to carry. So I have um, this. I'm doing a little teddy bear. And as you can see, the chain right here is a lot of different um, changing colors. So it's going to be areas here where you have the red and then you only have like one or two gold and then you change it to the red and then one gold and then red again. So you have a, a multiple chain, um, coloring changes which may not necessarily need, um, it may not necessarily need an extra um, color of the yarn. So I'm going to show you the back. So the, this is the back of it. The back is basically, um, obviously I didn't weave in, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But yeah, it's, <clears throat> it's going to show you where I have a uh, string hanging. I have um, areas where I'm not like totally finished because this, I, I'm literally just doing this. So, what we are going to do is show you where I did carry the yarn. So, right here, if you can see, I carried it only one stitch over. And in the front, you cannot see it. You cannot see that I carried it one stitch over. So, here is, um, I'm also going to add a little bit more into my, um, this color right here. Because it seems like this red is really, really, really thick. I don't know if I got a bad batch of yarn. Um, but it's really thick. And it's the same exact yarn as this. The same exact brand. But for some reason, this is thin and the red is really thick. So it causes, when you do that, it causes like little gaps in the middle. So I have to go over it again. But um, that's something that you need to be careful when you are crocheting. Make sure that your yarn is um, the same exact size. When you make sure that your yarn is the same exact size, it doesn't have these gaps. If you can see, you, you see like little holes. And my crochet, if you could tell, my crochet is, I kind of crochet with a tension that's really, really like tight. So you really cannot see. Even with the yarn that's not as thick as this red, you really cannot see. But 
because I am mixing the two together, you have little holes in here in the yellow part. So I'm going to go over, um, do that part over again. But this for the, the video, I'm going to show you when to change and when not to change the color. So like I said, I have one area here where I changed the color. I only did it because it's only one area that needed the, um, there's only one area that needed the, the gold and one area that needed the yellow. So there was no need for me to add a new yellow right here when I'm not going to need it. So basically I have this string hanging for the next row which is going to be three yellows, two reds, and two, um, and two yellows. So what would I do in that case? Well in that case what I would do is carry this yarn over. So. So this is what I would do. I would crochet over here until I get to right there, right? Then I do my pop lock and drop. If you do not um, know how to do my pop lock and drop, I have many videos on the YouTube channel that you can watch the pop lock and drop. But yeah, let me change the color. All right, pull the red down in the back and then pop do my extended single crochet and then I got three so I'm doing three I'm gonna do extended single crochet again and stop I need to do two red and I'm gonna go in here pull down on this yellow and then I'm going to go into the red area because I need two red one extended single crochet now this is where I'm going to go take my take my hook and bring over this yellow you have the yellow on the hook so I'm just moving it over right so this is what you're going to see. You're just moving it over so it is right in the back. When I'm doing this, you will not be able to see it from the front because this is already yellow. So I'm hiding it under the same exact color. So all you're going to see is the red that's going to be on top and the yellow that's going to be on the bottom and I'm going to do the extended crochet single, extended single crochet and then bam I carried it but look I carried the yarn I carried the yarn but again I carried it in the same exact color that it is at the bottom so now it's time to switch and then I go two. then I'm going to take my um, needle and carry the red because I need to move the red over so I'm going to take the red and push it over and then I'm going to take the yellow and finish the second because I need two one yellow two yellow extended single crochet and then I'm gonna drop the yellow again watch the video that I did for pop lock pop lock and drop method that's what I'm doing right now pop lock and drop I'm picking up the red I'm doing a color change now remember the red I just carried from over here you cannot tell that I carried it only because the red was already at the bottom 
so I am carrying it on the same exact color it was the on the row previously and then I continue you continue going with the red and then you know you go all the way down here now for instance let me show you this let's say if I had to carry the yarn on this white part that's something I wouldn't do because this brown is darker than this white you're definitely going to see the brown in between the white you're gonna see it if you see it you can see it now actually and I didn't even crochet it in you could kind of see it now I don't I could I don't know if you can but you can kind of see it now and that's not what you want so because this brown is not at the previous row you need to be careful and I may not transfer the yarn over I may not do it because I don't want it to show so what I would do is maybe add a second one or uh, let me show you I'm going to go in here <clears throat> I need two and then I'm gonna do my extended single crochet drop it I'm going to pick this up change my color pull down on this brown and then I'm gonna keep on going but I'm going to carry the brown I'm carrying the brown so I'm taking this needle and I am pulling this string over so that's what I did all I did was I picked up I picked up this with the needle and pushed it over so it's underneath here where I'm going into the I'm going into this the stitch and this is on top so as I'm going I'm crocheting on top of it extended single crochet and then I'm gonna keep on going with the brown on top keep on going with the brown on top if you can tell you can see that color this is the reason why I would not carry the brown a darker color underneath a, a um, lighter color the only way I would carry this brown is if it's only one stitch maybe or if there was brown already down here if brown is not down there that's I wouldn't do it what I would do is just add if I had to do like five five of the white or cream I will do five one two three four five and then I have to do the single crochet uh, extended single crochet so I could change the color I will pick this up which is from over here either I would use the end of it or I would just grab a new one and add it on to here and start a whole new um, bobbin if you want I just drop these down I just have um, hanging string everywhere and I just add the new string that's what I would do because I do not want it to show up here so that's basically what it is you do not want to use a color that's going to show in between so the yellow you might not see you're actually not going to see this yellow so if I wanted to carry it like four stitches over I might just well I actually have done it I did carry this because you cannot see it in between this thick red you cannot see it now if it was the other way around you can see if I had to carry this red where the yellow is you could see it so you just have to use your discretion now what I meant in the post um, in the post I said 
to uh, Miss Cole not that this is not tapestry crochet um, crochet tapestry crochet is a little 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 bit different not much there's a little bit of difference in my opinion only because you want your graph gans to look professional having the having the the um colors um carry because some people carry all throughout of their blanket so you have all of this carried you don't want to do that that's tapestry crochet Cro crochet tapestry crochet is basically carrying all of that um string so if you want to change the color like three times you are literally taking all of the all of this you're taking all of this and you're literally crocheting over it you're crocheting over all of this because you you're carrying it so it's like a motif um tapestry crochet you can make a motif you can make like baskets like it's real thick because you're carrying every single thing because you're literally changing colors as you go so I'm going with the burgundy but this is going to be carried so I have three colors say if I'm doing a three color motif I'm using the burgundy and then I'm going to go over the brown it's a light brown and a dark brown I'm going over it and I'm just going to keep going over it until it's time for me to switch again then I will drop the burgundy and add one of the browns I will add the lighter brown and then you take his lightning and thundering sorry then you take this brown and then you use that to crochet but you're gonna crochet over these two so that's what we're going to do we're gonna crochet over and keep on going and then you're changing you are dropping that then you're changing to the darker color and then you change to that color and then you take these and then you crochet on top of that and then it just keeps on going the whole entire whatever project you're doing it could be a rug it could be a basket it could be a pocketbook it could be anything sometimes they use the thin really thin um like the thread or a really fine yarn and then they it, it really doesn't show as much because it's thin thin yarn so when the yarn is that thin it you're able to hide it a little bit so that's the difference between tapestry and then the graph ganning you don't want to you don't want to carry like that when you're doing your graph gan because first of all you want a nice blanket that's not stiff because you're carrying all of that yarn and with tapestry it's also named intarsia um mosaic isle fair um and color work i think yeah those are the that's what it's also called it's also called tapestry but it's also called intarsia um tapestry mosaic fair isle and color work all of those together is the same exact thing that i was showing you where you're changing the color work um you're, change, you're basically making some type of design like you know little triangles and stuff like that so that's tapestry cro crochet and it's something that looks like it's woven like um, woven on a loom whereas crochet looks like crochet with a crochet hook so it's two different types you don't want to use tapestry crochet so I noticed there's some YouTube videos that's telling you you could do a graph scan with intarsia I think that they are misunderstanding I think that they don't mind with their work showing because I do see on the YouTube channels that you can see the um, line and I, I don't like it I don't like when you can see the colors when you put in your um, blanket down 
You don't want to see all these different colors peeking at you instead of the actual color. You want your image to be sharp. You want your image to have good lines and you want your image to be clear. You don't want little dots everywhere that um, distorts your figure. It, it distorts it. So you want quality. And quality, um, a quality graph. As long as your graph is done correctly and you're following that graph, then your graph GAN will become correctly. So all you have to do when it comes down to graph GANing is get a good graph. We do it at Graph GANs in the Restless. Get a good graph and make sure you do not carry a yarn if you don't have to. Because you just want it to be, this red should be just red and the brown should be just brown you don't want to see another color and again if you do carry your yarn just make sure that when you carry it it's under a darker color or the same color nothing light you don't want a darker color that's covering the um light color it, it just won't look right it won't look right at all so i hope i answered your question if not then hit me up and we could do a one-on-one -on -one and we could talk about it and find out if i answered your question correctly if not um if i did i hope to see that your project comes out well and you could ask diva whatever you want have a good night guys and i will talk to you later it's a storm like it's a bad storm so i need to like get up out of here now have a good evening